Welcome to Student Ministry That Matters. I'm Ben Trueblood. Today, I want to talk to you about managing morale as a leader. Sir Ernest Shackleton was an explorer. Perhaps you have heard about him. In fact, in March of 2022, his ship, the Endurance, was found sunk off the coast of Antarctica. So this is a recent ocean find. But Sir Ernest Shackleton is an amazing person in history. Uh, many books have been written about him. And one of the things that I find fascinating is that it has been said about him that he is one of the world's greatest leaders. Now, Shackleton never led a team larger than 27, and he failed at almost every major objective that he set out to complete. Now, normally that's not the resume of somebody that we would say is one of the greatest leaders of all time, but yet it was still said about Shackleton. And one of the reasons why is this particular expedition on his ship, the Endurance, to go to Antarctica and complete what was set out to be an 1800 mile trek on foot across Antarctica. It would have been the first time that anyone has ever completed this. But there was a problem. Off the coast of Antarctica, the ship became frozen in ice and stuck. And that one event would spark a two-year survival tale unlike anything the world had ever seen. This was one of the most harrowing, one of the most incredible survival stories of all time. And you can read about it in the book Shackleton's Way, as well as several other books that have been written about this particular situation. But over the course of two years, Shackleton and his crew fought to stay alive on floating patches of ice, parts of Antarctica, whaling stations. They survived by eating penguins and seals. At times, they were so dehydrated that their tongues were swollen. They lived underneath lifeboats, on top of lifeboats over the course of two years, and Shackleton brought back every one of his crew alive. An incredible story. And one of the things that would be pointed to as why Shackleton was referred to as one of the greatest leaders the world has ever seen and one of the reasons why he always brought back his crew alive. And it was one of the reasons in this particular tale that they survived is that he was a master at managing morale. You as a leader in student ministry have to do this as well. There's morale among the teenagers in your ministry. If things start to dip, you can sense it. Have you ever been around a ministry or perhaps your ministry is in the place where it just feels like the excitement has been sucked out of the room or something's going on and it just feels off. You have to manage morale among parents, manage morale among the leaders that you recruit. And if you have a large staff, you have to manage morale there as well. It is one of the key components of leadership and it's what helped keep Shackleton and his crew of people on the endurance alive for two years eating penguins and seals, all right? So if that can happen, it can happen in your environment. And here are three things that we can learn from the leadership of Shackleton applied directly to your leadership that'll help you manage morale. Number one, the leader is responsible for giving a picture of hope. You as the leader have to paint a real picture of what hope looks like. In Shackleton's situation, of what survival looks like, of what going back home looks like. In your responsibility of a leader, as a leader, you have to paint a picture of what the future looks like, the better future that God has put in your heart and in your mind to chase after as a leader. You have to paint that picture and deliver hope to everyone around you. The second thing is to know your people personally. This is something that Shackleton did extremely well. There's one story, in fact, of somebody that, Shack that was on Shackleton's crew that brought a unique skill set that he wanted him there, but he also knew that this person could get into trouble sometimes, that this person could at times stir up negativity and cynicism among the other crew. So what did Shackleton do? He made sure that this particular crew member stayed close to him at all times so that he could manage the cynicism and the negativity. There was another one of Shackleton's crew that 
was kind of haughty and prideful. And Shackleton knew that about this person. And so what did Shackleton do? He often brought this person into inner circle meetings, often asked this person their opinion to weigh in on the situation because he knew that if that person felt like he was contributing in a significant way, then he would work even harder and his morale level would be so high that it would spread among the other crew. Knowing your team and knowing your people personally is essential to managing morale. This makes the case again for relationships. Isn't it interesting that in ministry, we always come back to the importance of relationships in ministry. And this is another reason why. Because every person is different, they need to be managed and led and supported. And all of those three things go together. Managing them, leading them, supporting them. That's three sides. And we have to do well in each one of those sides. And in order to do well, you have to know them personally. And the last one is he did a great job of celebrating. Now you might think, how in the world, stranded on an iceberg, eating the occasional penguin would be cause for celebration? Well, this was again, a place where Shackleton was strategic, where he brought someone that was a musician that brought an instrument. In fact, several had instruments where they would lead. And once they became shipwrecked, once this began to happen, they began to have once a week where they would gather together and they would sing and people would play instruments. And they built into the culture of survival this weekly moment of celebration where they would share stories, where they would listen to music, where they would participate in music. And that became a key part of all of those crew members coming back alive. Bringing brought, being brought home to safety. So the question I would have for you as a leader is what are you celebrating? And the follow-up question for that is what are you not celebrating? I bet there are several things right now. If you just took a moment after this video and wrote down several things that you would say, this is something that we can celebrate in our ministry. This is a person in our ministry that we can celebrate, that you would begin to find many things that would carry celebration moments forward for you as you begin to manage the morale of the teams that you lead. Shackleton was a master morale manager, and it was one of the reasons why he survived is one of the reasons why his entire crew survived. And as a leader, learning to master morale management is one of the reasons you'll survive. Hopefully you have found this video to be uplifting, to be encouraging, and a lot better than surviving on penguin meat. All right, I would love to hear the strangest food that you've ever eaten in the comments down below. Also, we'd love to learn from you put some of the things that you celebrate in your ministry. We want to celebrate alongside you and uh, praise God for what he's doing in your ministry. So drop something in the comments that you are celebrating right now. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.